This is a video of blown fiber tubing support in IQGO Network Manager version 1.1. To start, I'm going to create a new design so that anything that I create as part of this demo is contained within just this design and isn't touching the as built network. Okay, and then I'm going to open this design so I can start working in it. So in order to show how blown fiber tubing support works, I'm just going to extend the network with some new structural features. So create a, um, a manhole, some wall block boxes, and some underground routes. So I'll start with the manhole. And with this new version of Network Manager, there's no longer to keep repeatedly hitting the Save button. Now, when you select a new feature from the palette that you want to create, um, the feature that you've kind of just placed, in this case, a manhole, will be automatically saved. So if I now choose a wall box, it's going to create that manhole. And let's create um, four wall boxes. And then we'll create some underground routes just to connect up this um, new piece of network. So as mentioned, I can still hit save here, but if I wanted to, I can you know just hit the the new underground route, and then that's automatically going to save the the feature that was just placed. So it just makes it faster to create extensions to the network. Okay, excellent. So that's a, a small extension to the network uh, created to serve some some new properties. So the next thing that I like to do is I like to create some some blown fiber tubing. So if I select a blown fiber tube object here, um, you can see there's some fields that we can fill in about the the blown fiber tube that we're going to create, including the bundle size. Now, if we create a bundle size of greater than one, um, it will create a blown fiber um, bundle and place the blown fiber tubes within that bundle. If we create just a, a single, um, or if we put one inside the bundle size here, then it won't create the parent blown fiber bundle, it will just create the blown fiber tube. So in this case, I'm gonna create a, a 12 um, blown fiber bundle, and I'm gonna start at this manhole and come down to this manhole. So I can hit preview, and it will tell me the path that it's going to take, so that's great. Um, I'm now going to create those those blown fiber tubes. So if I select um, this section of root here and just toggle off the um, the structures palette, then we can see we've got that blown fiber bundle and the 12 tubes within it. And you'll also notice that I have a, a single uh, piece of um, underground root selected. But when I hover over the blown fiber tubes, um, we've got the, the entire path that that blown fiber tube is, is taking. So um, it's not split at structures. We can, we can record and we can track the, the entire path um, that the actual uh, blown fiber tube is taking. So what I'm going to do next is just create some other blown fiber tubes just from this manhole here to these wall boxes. So again, I could use the, the palette, but I can also use the pencil to create some new features. So I'm going to choose a blown fiber tube. Uh, one bundle size is ideal. And then just place that uh, there. No need to preview the path. Um, it's just a simple route from the, the manhole to the wall box. Um, and then I'm going to create um, some more uh, blown fiber tubes just quickly here. So now what we have, if I select on these, is we've got some uh, blown fiber tubes here. So they're not inside a bundle because I create, created just a single blown fiber tube. And now what I'd like to do is I'd actually like to, to connect up um, these uh, four blown fiber tubes here with some of the tubes that were in the, 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 the blown fiber bundle, that 12 blown fiber bundle that I just created. So in order to do that, I'm going to select the, the manhole. And this manhole, um, what I've done is I've toggled on the ability to see the conduits. So this is optional. Um, you could have that toggled off, but I'm going to toggle it on so I can see the conduits. And here's the, the blown fiber uh, bundle with those um, 12 tubes inside it. And then you know we can see these other four uh, tubes here. So hovering over them will tell them where they are. 
Uh, and now if I wanted to connect these up, all I need to do is first decide um, on either side really. So on the this kind of the incoming or the outgoing side, I can right click and choose join. So in this case, let's go for number one on the, um, on the blown fiber bundle and we can choose to join the conduits. And what will then pop up is a menu and it will allow me to select um, one of my single blown fiber uh, tubes that's going to these wall boxes here. So I'm going to choose one of these and then hit connect. And what you'll see now is that we've got a kind of double equal sign here and here as well. And that shows that there's now a pass through at this structure. So we will no longer be able to connect um, this particular blown fiber tube at this structure because it's now passing through um, and, and we've recorded the, the kind of the continuous route for that blown fiber tube. So I'm going to continue to do that for the other um, blown fiber tubes that go to the wall boxes. So in this case, uh, this one here, I'm going to connect to, to number two. Um, number three will serve this wall box. And let's join number four to this wall box here. Oh, this is my mistake. I need to select number four, join the conduits, and let's connect it to this one here. There we go. OK, great. So now if I come back and select that same underground route that I did before and hover over the first four um, blown fiber tubes, you can see that because of that joint that we made, um, we now have a, a continuous path from this manhole all the way to those four um, wall boxes. So if we wanted to blow, blow fibers from, from this manhole to serve those wall boxes, we could now do so. Now, um, what I'm going to do quickly, actually, something I should have done earlier, is pop a manhole here. So I'm just going to pop a manhole there on that on that junction. Um, and now what I'd like to do is is actually um, cut the uh, some of the the blown fiber tubes that that go uh, that sorry a part of this 12 um, blown fiber bundle. So in order to do that, I'm going to select this. Um, this manhole and toggle off my my palette view and I can see here okay we've got a kind of pass through of all of these um, blown fiber tubes so none of them actually stop at this manhole so there's no ability at the moment to to join um, at this at this manhole so if I wanted the ability to join then I have the option to cut the blown fiber tube now I know I've just done um, some work on the first four and if I hover over, I can see that they are serving um, wall boxes, so I'm not going to touch any of these. Uh, number five comes um, and terminates at this new manhole I created. So in this case, actually, I want to make use of that. I want to do an intercept so I can um, make use of this tube and kind of continue the run down to, to this manhole here. So in order to do that, um, I can right click and choose cut. And what it'll then do is it's going to cut that um, that blown fiber tube and we'll have one uh, tube here that finishes at that manhole and then obviously we'll have a, a kind of um, another blown fiber tube here that that just runs between these two structures so we just performed a, a clean cut there so that we can put in an, an intercept joint so just to demonstrate this I'll create a new blown fiber tube running from here down to here We'll, we'll stick the bundle size as one just to keep things simple. Um, and now, you know, what we want to do is we actually want to take one of the, um, the the blown fiber tubes that was running from here to here, which we've now cut uh, and intercept it so that we can have a continuous run from this manhole to this manhole. So in order to do that, I'm just going to select my, my manhole here. I'm going to find the, the blown fiber tube in question. So it's this one, you know, hovering over really helps me to see uh, what I'm working with. Uh, right click and I can join my conduits and just move this out of the way. And again, hovering over makes it very clear so I understand what I'm connecting to. And here's the, the new blown fiber tube um, that I created. So I can select that now and, um, and I can hit connect. And now I'm going to have a, a con continuous run from this manhole to this manhole, um, having created that 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 intercept here. In regards to placing cables, if I create a new cable now, 
So let's create, um, let's start with some uh, a one fiber cable that runs from here to one of these uh, wall boxes. Do a preview of the path just to make sure that it's going to take the right path um, and then hit save. So now typically what you'd want to do is you'd want to place that fiber inside of the um, the, the blown fiber tube in, in question. So the easiest way to do this in this case actually is if I if I uh, click on the the kind of the the lead in from this manhole to this wall box then you know there's only one blown fiber tube here so it makes it easy for me to identify right this is the the right blown fiber tube obviously let's drag the cable uh, into that and what it will do is if I select these other routes you know it's gonna it's place that cable within that continuous run of, of blown fiber tube and also you know if if we create a cable that you know, for example, ran from here to here and tried to place it inside of this tube, it wouldn't let us because obviously the, the cable path is different to the blown fiber tube path. Um, and also the system won't let us do things that would, um, that would, you know, damage the network or be impossible in the real world. For example, now we've placed the fiber cable inside this blown fiber tube. If I select this manhole here and try to cut this um, this blown fiber tube, obviously, because it contains a cable, um, we're unable to do that. So that was uh, a demonstration of blown fiber tubing support at Network Manager. By adding support for blown fiber tubing to Network Manager, service providers can accelerate serviceability checks, promote the use of existing infrastructure, and ensure that planners have the data that they need to do their job effectively.